so it means that this this is the the hardest field of the sort of the, the field sign that we find most infrequently because it sort of you know, blows away or washes away so easily. But what you you do sometimes find at a particular spot is a series of vegetation stacked. So that's quite a telltale sign in itself. But then if you if you look at the edge, the nibbled end of the vegetation, you'll see there's there's always a 45 degree angle, and you can usually see the little teeth marks in the end as well. Um, you'll find some in the vertical parts of the, of the river bank, and quite often under the water as well. Look at that, that's just perfect. That is it? actually. You might notice that the, the grass around the entrance to that burrow looks a little bit shorter than the, uh, <coughs> the grass, not the surrounding, surrounding grass. And that's another sort of indication that that burrow is, is active, because water bowls will you know, there's a food source immediately available at the entrance to the burrow, so it's a safe, accessible food source. So, so they quite often you stick their muzzles out and have a good nibble and create this lovely sort of manicured lawn, this nibbled area around the lawn. And slightly, you know, slightly further away from that, the grass or you know, vegetation will be much longer. So yeah, so keep an eye out for those sort of lovely lawns around the, the burrows as, a, as an indicator of uh, not just a burrow, but a, 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 an indicator of an active burrow. They, so they'll have a whole network. One, one hole isn't a single chamber, yeah. uh, sort of independently or isolated from the others. Within there, there'll be a network of, of sort of chambers. And, and you only survey them this time of year because although they're active all year, they only start marking their territories when they're breeding. And that's when you start finding the piles of poo, which we call latrines. Usually they'll just be swimming and just poo, or they'll swim, poo in the burrows, and you, you don't know they're there until they start breeding, and then they just start really showing you that they're there. Or sort of little lower slumps of, of the riverbank, on just on the water's edge. Mm -hmm. um, that's where you'll typically find a water bowl latrine. And the way we can identify it as being a water bowl is because it, you can see it has this sort of, it's similar to a tic-tac, I guess in its mm. shape and its size. It has maybe a slightly tapered end at one end on this particular example. And quite often they're just yeah that perfect tic tac sort of cylindrical shape. Oh they are the most perfect example. <laughs> Have you spot the poo beside it yeah. as well? I didn't actually know. Yeah. There's a couple of bright green fresh poos there. That's another thing which we didn't mention. If you're out surveying, make sure you've got like a pound coin or something because it's great for scale when you're taking pictures. You'd quite often, well, the rear foot you would usually see five, five toes. And the, the first digit and the fifth digit are usually sort of splayed outwards, pointing outwards. And then the three middle digits are sort of a bit uh, clustered a little closer together and it's star shape. You can often see the sort of the, the back of the foot or the sort of the, you know the ankle almost the underneath of the ankle imprinted into the into the sediment as well. Mm -hmm. 